We are now joined by one of the young kings of boxing whose hard work has catapulted him to superstar status as, he's, as he has achieved countless accolades at just the young age of 25. After 19 professional fights, he already sits on the pound for pound list of the top boxers in the world. He's a two division world champion and now sets his sights on wreaking havoc at the 135 pound division fighting out of Newark, New Jersey. Welcome to the urban sports scene, Shakur Stevenson. What's good, brother? What's good, man? Glad to have you on, my really man. Good to have you on, man. So we, we want to start out real quick, have a little fun. Um, I don't know if you play video games. I know you ain't got a whole lot of time. You trained, maybe growing up you did, but you remember the boxing video games like Fight Night and Knockout yeah. Things? Yeah. So I don't know if you're a fan, but think about if you was a fighter on, on one of the games, how would, how would you like that? And the dope part about playing the games, you could fight people from past generations, different weight classes. Who would you like to fight if you was on a video game like that? Your your character and just what type of fighter would you be on it? I think I'd be like a ninety five overall. <laughs> um, I would like to fight uh, Manny Pacquiao because where I used to play on the game, he used to knock everybody out. <laughs> Who would Manny you Pacquiao do? was on Fight Night. Yeah, back in the day, he was on. Yeah, he was on them joints. Yeah, yeah he, he was, was on, on the last them. one. Yeah, he was on the joints. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, I used, to, I used to do Floyd. Floyd was like Floyd was sweet in that joint though. Yeah, Floyd was, yeah, Floyd was sweet. Um, so you know, man, you named after one of my favorite rappers. He's the goat, bro. Like, so what to me? Who is your what's your favorite pop song? Pop, favorite pop song probably um either hit him up or uh Hail Mary. Uh, Hail Mary is one of my favorites too. So before a fight, do you ever like you know rock out to hit him up though? Like, kind of get you hyped and ready to go. Yeah, I do. I know. I know that's right. Hit him All up, right. Hit him up. That's a dope one. That's a dope one. All right, let's get right into it. And so in, in your last fight, man, to me, you dominated Oscar Valdez. So what was your mindset going into that thing? But Ross, uh, it, it was um, it was easy work, I feel like. Uh, I just knew what it was mm -hmm. when I was going into it. So yeah, his last right. fight was Robson, no. So I'm sorry, I'm bad. My, oh, my bad. <laughs> Oh. It was just this past Saturday. That was easy work yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I did. I was throwing up when he asked me. My know. bad, bro. <laughs> my, my bad. It's my fault. <laughs> but it was like your mindset going into it. And, you know, obviously there was a lot of talk about the weight or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, bro, like you're a young dude. You're 25. Like that has to be hard trying to make weight. Like, so talk, talk to our listeners. How, how difficult is it? I mean, when you fight at 130 pounds and it's like your sixth fight, I mean, you got to think about it. I'm fighting, what, two times a year. This is my sixth fight at the weight. I mean, I've been here for a long time, if you um, put it in perspective. But um, it was it was hard. It was one of the hardest weight cuts in my life. I ain't never had to go through that in my boxing career before. But that's just – all that means is time to move up. That's how I look at it, like, Time to go up and wait. Um, I, I done got bigger. Uh huh. We so also we do this show out of DMV, you know, DC, Maryland, Virginia, and you yeah. used to train around here. What made you want to train in this area, and what was the experience like? I ain't gonna lie. I think uh, out of everywhere I've been, either DC or Vegas got like the best sparring. Right. Like, being honest, like down there is where like I got the. Best work. I done went down there and sparred with the uh the Gary Russell, um, Antoine, Antoine Russell. Um, I done sparred with um Tank when I was down there, Lamont Rhodes. Uh -huh. um, it's some it, Mike Reed, it's some good fighters that I, I done sparred down that way. So um, I think I done got my best work from down there. Oh snap, we gotta tell Anthony Peterson that won't lay because he was like Texas, <laughs> he felt like it, it's probably the best place for boxing training. So I appreciate that, but that's what a lot of people say in terms of sparring, in terms of just the, the, the crop of fighters, that they get that work in. Man, we gonna ask you about the Russell brothers later. That's what we we cover um, mostly here in the, in the DMV. So we'll have a question for you then. But uh, we wanna talk to you too about fighting in Newark. Of course, you fought in Newark, your past fight, had a crowd over 10,000. I know they already asked you many times just what that felt like, but I also want to know what it would feel like to fight in like AC, which you know AC used to be like the fight capital in Jersey, and and shoot, it was equal to Vegas at one point. Uh yeah, it, 
I'll probably be the person that bring it back there. I ain't gonna lie. I think I'll be the person to make um, boxing alive back in uh, Atlantic City. But uh, I fought there before. It wasn't. I don't, I'm not as big as I am now, so it, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't that crazy of an experience. But I know when I come back, like whenever I do go out there and we uh, have a fight out there, I know I'm gonna sell out. Sweet. So you know, being at 135. What what who would, would be your dream matchup at 135? I ain't got none. I ain't got none. <laughs> I love it. I got not one uh, person on there. Uh, they all good fighters, but I'm coming to take over the weight class. So I ain't I ain't looking at. I ain't putting nobody on no pedestal nowhere. Yeah, okay. uh, everybody right there, and I'm coming to get everybody. All right. So for me, when I watch you fight, like I always, you know, tell my homies, like, yo, this is like the next Floyd. Who do you compare yourself to? I don't compare myself to nobody, but um, <laughs> I I appreciate the Floyd comparison because uh-huh. I like I understand it. Like that's why I can say I understand because I feel like we smart, smart fighters. Like yeah. we one of those people that we don't give nobody nothing. You gotta earn everything. Like if you land a punch on Floyd, like when Shane hit Floyd, he earned it. Like you know he earned that shot. Like that nice. was the punch they earned. Um, we not just giving no no shots away. So I think. Uh, in that aspect, that's why I could see like where the Floyd comparisons I'm coming at. Like my eyes, I, I could see everything real good, and I don't let nobody just uh, land a punch on me. All right, so I, I mentioned that we covered the Russell brothers. They they always, you know, complimentary, cool brothers. They, they said that they knew you was gonna move up. This was three years ago. Remember all that? It was like he's yeah. got a bigger frame. Like yeah. Chico not gonna be at one twenty six for a minute. But as you move up in weight, you do get closer to who you mentioned. You get closer to Antoine. Is that a fight you could see yourself uh, one to be interested in the future? Yeah, if it come down to it, um, I ain't gonna lie. Like, if I'm being honest with you, uh-huh. um, he gave me, like, some of my best work ever. Like, as far as, like, sparring, uh-huh. me and him, we done did, like, 12 rounds straight in the – in the heat, they gym, they gym so damn hot. It's, it's hot, hot, bro. That thing hot is, I don't know what, man. I was sweating like I was back in Africa or something, bro. I would not lie to you, man. Yeah, me, <laughs> me and him done went the world, like, in the heat. Like, and I, I got to respect him. Like, I ain't going to lie. He a fighter I say that I respect because um, he, he made me earn. He, he made me earn a lot of a lot of stuff. Like, I feel like um, even when I spar with him, I go spar other people and it ain't, you know, it ain't as hot. It ain't as much pressure on me. Like he's putting pressure nonstop, and he's bigger than me, so I gotta fight him off. But um, yeah, I think me and him would be a hell of a fight. I think that's like the uh, the Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, if we if we ever uh, do fight. Like I feel like it'll be that kind of fight. So um, hey, I I took my hat off to him. I think he a um, hell of a fighter. I actually think he the best fighter in the um, DMV area right now. If I'm being honest. Him, him and uh, Tank, but other than that, I, don't know, I think they're the, they the best two fighters out there. Yeah, Antoine definitely got game. Well, we appreciate having you on, my man. Is there anything you would like to add before we let you go? Uh, nah, that's good. All right, appreciate All you, right. man. Appreciate you, bro.